All right, Chris, before we get started, I want to congratulate you on your 16th year as a professional. You just hit that anniversary a couple of days ago. Uh, did, you, did you notice that? Did you, did you think back and realize it was an anniversary? You know, we make one shirt. You, uh, my team make a shirt, like Cyborg Team, cyber team 16. I mean, 16 years make this year. Is it crazy? Does it seem like it's been that long? Yeah, no, it looked like yesterday I started, you know? It's so fast. Yeah, and how, what do you think's made you been able to do this for so long? 16 years in any professional sport would be hard, but I think one where you're getting hit and kicked and punched, it's even more impressive. And now for me, I feel very blessed for having the opportunity to be 16 years of success and, and they hold the four titles. And for me, you know, I feel just thankful, you know, to work hard and be do something I love to do. You know, if you love something to do, you love your work, you can do uh, able to do 16 years or more. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, you got Leslie Smith in front of you, an opponent you're familiar with. Uh, do you feel like that th this is kind of a different fight than the first time you guys fought, or are you expecting much the, the same compared to the first time? I believe the energy is different because I was doing the catch weight at the moment we fought, and we make a campaign for that fight to happen. You know, and now I think it's different. We fight the real division of 45 pounds. And it's nice, I'm happy. Five years ago, for sure, it's different. I'm a different fighter, a different person. Five years ago, I'm better, get improved every day. And yeah, I think it's good. Do you feel like the same could be said about her? Yes, I think everyone is different five years. You know, depending how it work, if you improve your game, you train hard, doesn't, you're gonna change something, you know, you're gonna learn more. And as the champion, I'm sure when you were kind of planning your next title defense, uh, Scott Coker might have given you some options. Did you feel like Leslie was the, the, the one that was most deserving of the options that you had? Do you know, she, she is the girl, she beat a lot of girls. After, I think the only person finished her it's as quick as me. All the fights of her is per point, and she's getting a lot of wins and because she's going to fight for the title. Yeah, and, and uh, I guess when, it, when you play it out in your head, how do you see it? going down compared to the first time? Do you think it will be a very similar, like a quick finish, or, or do you think it will go later? You know, I feel like I have five rounds to finish the fight, and I'm just gonna find the opportunity, the way that I'm gonna finish, you're gonna get grappling, you know, stand up. I just have to be ready for any situation in the fight. And this is your first fight of 2021. How active are you looking to stay this year? You know, I, I want to fight more this, this, this year, and I told Scott he knows, and I'm really happy and excited. Next event, you can have a crowd and you know coming back, and I'm very happy about it. Yeah, you're excited for the fans to be able to, to finally come, not this one, but the next one to see you Yes, fight. you know, I'm very thankful to have the opportunity to fight this moment because, you know, it's a lot of people don't have job now, no fighting. And for me, I was happy, but, you know, it's nice to have the fan. You give it back, the return, and the love your fans give to you. You talk, we talked, we started this interview talking about how long you've been around the sport. What's your main motivation? I mean, if you go out here and win again, like, you've accomplished so much. What else do you think there is for you to accomplish? No, when it's every occasion, it's not nothing to pressure. No, I like to fight to share my faith to my fans, uh, be the example for everyone, continue and you know, improve for Umas and MMA, and do my missionary work. And you know, I, I feel great. You know, I feel every day young, signing the, the deal with Bellator, make me fire in my heart, and excited, just enjoy the moment. Yeah, and this is a little off topic, but from the last time I spoke to you, uh, you, 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 when Amanda Nunes fought, there was a Chris Cyborg truck popped up, and I, I don't know if I ever heard an explanation from you. What was that all about? What was, what was the thinking there? Well, about the fight that, you know, it's free marketing. You know, <laughs> you put the, the, the car there, yeah. and everybody talk about Cyborg Nation. Thank for everyone who shared the story. Yeah. It's just free marketing. Yeah, yeah. Was it, was it hoping to plant some seeds about some sort of cross promotion or anything? Or, or? You know, my Fox is only yeah. last is mid Friday, and after that, maybe. But we are always open for this, for sure. I'm going to ask you one more question about yes. it, another opponent. But Kayla Harrison, I know, gets asked about you all the time. What are your thoughts on her rise in MMA, and is that a fight some point down the line you would take? You know, for sure, she's have the tournament to do this year, and then yeah. probably she's going to be a free agent. And, you know, Bellator always to open for the greatest fighters who want to be here. And if in the future the fights can happen, for sure, I'm going to choose my opponent. I just be aware for anyone stepping in the cage with me.